analysis. Moving on back to Asian paints, Abhinish Roy is here with us. Uh, Abhinish, uh, what do you make of the margins this quarter? There's apparently some adjustment as well, or it doesn't really matter. A bit of adjustment. Is there any? Take that results have just come, but it's good numbers if you see in terms of revenue, six percent growth on a fifty-three percent volume base, and uh, domestic deco has seen uh, double digit volume growth, which I think is very commendable. So on a fifty-three percent volume, they have grown double digit. So that clearly shows that clearly industry in terms of the rural, urban, uh, top end, bottom end, everything is doing well in the paints because of the penetration levels being available. In terms of uh, EBITDA growth, also it is ahead of our expectation, and that also. So overall margins, if you see clearly expansion was expected, but uh, we'll have to see if there is any need for adjustment. But clearly uh, the uh, pricing power is there, so we have seen uh, margins coming back to the peak level. But still, if you see the double date volume growth is there, so we are not seeing any uh, kind of a pricing pressure. But uh, overall, if you see from a four-year perspective, also the volume growth and uh, sales growth for the domestic deco business is in double digits in terms of CAGR. Overall strong performance, and we'll see some upgrades based on this uh, given such strong performance. But we'll wait for more clarity if there is any one-off. Okay, fair point. Uh, four and a half percent down after the numbers. Uh, Abhinish says good set, strong set. Priyam Tolia of Axis there. Yeah. Priyam, uh, what does the valuation picture tell you with this kind of performance? Does it deserve well? Uh, the, what are the valuations? Your uh, target valuations with this kind of performance? Oops. I think we have lost Priyam Tolia. I will go back to Avinish. Avinish, what's your view on valuation angle? See, valuation wise, Asian paint has always been <laughs> very expensive, and with FIS coming back, this is one stock where FIS really love the kind of compounding it has given over the last 15-20 years. Uh, plus margins expanding, double digit uh, deco volume growth in a quarter in which very high base was there. I would say that the entire market, uh, if you see, has rallied the uh, Indian stock market because of the overall China. Uh, Uh, shift happening to Indian market. So overall, yes, it's expensive. But my sense is because the growth is strong from here on. Even if P re-rating doesn't happen, still based on the earning strong trajectory, stock over a one-year time frame could do well. Uh, see, last three four months the stock has gone one way from twenty eight hundred to all time near all time high. So that profit booking can happen. Yesterday also we saw in ITC that although the event was positive. From medium long term, the stock did correct three four percent yesterday and two percent today. So to, uh, now sell on news is happening because this was expected that margins will expand. So that sell on news is happening. It is not a reflection that valuations have peaked out, but that's uh, more of a near term uh, reaction which we are seeing. Nish, we'll let you go on that one. Thanks so much uh, for that take. That is a wrap on the show. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.